So everybody wants to know how to uncover the secret of knowing when Bitcoin is gonna surge in price like it just did and how we were able to call the exact low. And the way we were able to do it is using technical analysis. It's not an exact science, it's more of an art form. And uh, the idea here is if, you know, Bitcoin's gonna surge 26% in a couple of days. Well, how long did that one take? That that was uh, 49 bars or 49 20, four hour candles. So call it about, how many days is that? A week, right? 26% in a week. You don't have to catch the whole move to get the entire move, but um, you know, we, we happen to catch most of that move. And the question is, how did we know, right? And there is a way to use technical analysis. What we use is called trend momentum and volatility. This is a volatility indicator called the BBWP. It represents the, uh, uh, you know, the dispersion of returns, um, and basically when it's low here in the blue zone, that means volatility has contracted and essentially price is going to be ranging or uh, doing a mean reversion, uh, vice versa. Um, and particularly on the daily time frame, when volatility is low and then begins to expand while well, you expect the price to go in the direction of the trend. And uh, needless to say, in the direction of the stochastic and we got this cross up, this is our momentum indicator here. And we've got volatility expansion above 25%. And that's what gave us pretty much uh, go time alongside the hidden bullish divergence and the Fibonacci tools that we use. but. Needless to say, I wanted to give you guys the next setup, which is brewing before our very eyes right now. Again, volatility has begun, has become very low on the daily time frame, And this results in no less than a typical 20% move. So you're going to expect price to go in the direction of the stochastic. So very, very important that we note here, stochastics momentum is to the downside right now. And if we exit the critical zone with force here, and get back pretty much below that level. Uh, that's that's gonna let us know uh, price is gonna expand back to the downside. 20% to the downside is a very important level and here is why. Well, 20% uh, to the downside would take us to all the way back to the range of lows and scare the crap out of everybody. I personally don't think that is uh, the direction we're gonna go. And here's why the five day volatility, five day volatility is expanding to the upside above 25 percentile. We are just coming up against the bullish control zone again. Could it sell off one more time? Yeah. Any kind of a five day closure back below 29.5 and probably going to come all the way down to, you know, 27.5. Um, that would be a nice, a nice little play back to the downside. But overall this is a bullish signal when we're grinding up against the bullish control zone volatility's already began to expand and momentum is to the upside well that is your indicator that uh hey party is likely to expand to the upside and again uh this has resulted in pretty much no less than a 50 percent move to the upside just going back in bitcoin's history a little bit here um as volatility contracts below, uh, typically below 10% and then gets above 25, that's where you see those 50% moves. The last two moves consequentially have given us a 50% move to the T, 58% on that one. And this one here, 64%. And then going back here, look at this contraction on the five day for a very long time. And that expansion, I remember that one was 60% to the downside. So again, if you want to begin to learn how to understand technical analysis, uh, trend momentum and volatility, and start to become a highly profitable trader, 
I highly recommend you join Crypt Courses Bitcoin 101, how to grow your crypto wealth. Just click start here. There's a link in the description below and I look forward to serving you guys soon, but just following up here on the vault, you know, the secret to uncovering the next explosion here. That's the topic of this video. And uh, back to the daily time frame is volatility has been compressed and getting kicked back right now. Getting kicked back right now. Um, yeah, essentially what we're looking for is expansion now off the daily. And that should get you a 15 to 20% move. And since the two day is now contracting, that gives a little more impetus for the downside, maybe one more support to the upside. And the three day momentum is gonna cross down in two days and 11 hours below 30,900. So definitely need to hold this region, this pivot at 30, call it 29.5 needs to hold. Otherwise uh, we're gonna play out a little bit of downside displeasure and uh, Hopefully scare everybody out and, you know, pick itself back onwards and upwards by its bootstraps. And uh, right now that momentum on the four day is still to the upside. And on the five day, we are still crossed up. So higher term time frames are going to rule the market. And that is something else. So even if we do come down and put in a higher low, I'm expecting some continuation to the upside. And invalidation is actually back below that box there. That is going to be your 618 fib and any kind of a daily closure back below here at 27.3. And it's going to be, well, um, downside displeasures. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. And again, if you want the secret to the next explosion on Bitcoin, the most recent, well, the four, the four hour is not going to get it. The 12 hour. The 12 hour likely gonna get it. And the next expansion off the 12 hour above 25% is gonna get it. The 10 hour is also already expanding with momentum to the downside. No wonder price action is coming down at the moment, almost with a bearish engulfing candle. So that would likely get it. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a little tap off of this one more time and run it back into the range. So. Again, a bit of a sandpaper range, probably until next week, um, as most of the traders are taking the days off at uh, the moment. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. Have a blessed one. Take care.